beautiful out um, today. A little chillier than our normal May, but nonetheless, it is still beautiful. Um, so welcome to our class and this next hour that is really just for, um, for you to take this time and to kind of um, maybe give yourself a little bit of some self-care, if you will. Um, and for me, just to let you know that my, May is one of those months that can go, it can feel like it starts and then it's like off to the races. I like to call it almost may December because it feels like December to me, but it's May because there feels like there's um, the end of the school year for my girl. Um, and then it's like we're gearing up for summer and at the same time trying to adjust and um, move her back home because she's away at school. So it's just, it's one of those kind of crazy times. And this time is for you to just take a moment to breathe and kind of um, take, and let those things just stay outside of the space for the next hour. Um, anyways, with that being said, we'll be moving through some really, I like to think of it as heart openers. Um, and, and if that's not feeling good for you today, you absolutely do not have to do it, but um, we'll be taking a humble warrior, which I love because um, it, it just feels like you are almost surrendering to this practice at the same time and you're opening yourself up to opportunities, which is what I kind of like to think of it as. So um, let's just begin with our practice. I have a couple of blocks um, and I do like to have them handy. So if you have any, just grab them. And if not, you don't need them. That's fine. And as you can tell, I'm in this small little space in my house, but um, and the walls make great props. Um, so if you have anything that you like to hold on to, just go ahead and bring it on nearby. Um, but let's go ahead and begin in our Sukhasana, that easy seated upright pose. So your legs can be crossed or you can extend them out in front. If you have sensitive knees, I always like to kind of prop some blocks underneath and it just supports and it takes that weight off of your legs off of your hips so oh, I see somebody is at the class so go ahead and get um settled there and I'm going to admit this friend into class welcome to our practice um so let's begin in our sukhasana crossing our legs finding maybe even something to lift your hips sometimes I like to place a blanket underneath and let's rotate our palms downward onto our knees or our thighs and just get really grounded here. Maybe close your eyes or soften your gaze. And when I say soften your gaze, that just means to kind of blur out what your line of sight may be. So you're not focusing anything in, on anything in particular. And as you're here, on your mat with your eyes closed in this beautiful day that we're given. Allow yourself to just breathe. When I say that, I want you to focus on if you're holding tension in your chest or you feel like you're breathing a little shallow. I invite you to incorporate that full breath, softening, and letting go. Your mind may want to bring up words, thoughts, just acknowledge that for a moment. Let them go, kind of almost like you're letting them float off into the sky. You stay with this breath. Allow your hands to feel 
heavy or releasing any tension in your fingers, in your shoulders, maybe even squinch them up and then let them just release really heavy. Maybe bring your focus into the sounds that are surrounding you. Maybe you hear the birds outside or, or a lawnmower. Bring your awareness to the sound of your breath. Deepening your breath as you inhale and exhale. Let's just take a nice big breath in through our nose. Filling up and then an open mouth exhale. <sighs> Emptying your breath completely on the exhale. And then inhale again through your nose. Filling up, chest fills, belly maybe expands. And an open mouth exhale. <sighs> Almost as if your breath is filling the space around you. And then this time, as you inhale through your nose, let's seal our lips. Breathing in and then sipping in that extra breath at the very top. And then exhale through your nose, creating that audible sound in the back of your throat. Your ujjayi pranayama. I like to call that our meditative breath. One that keeps us grounded, one that draws us in and onto our mat as we move in our practice. Slowly, let's begin to bring our palms together. And we're just going to rub our palms together. At heart center, just kind of create that little bit of friction, rubbing them, maybe a little warmth, maybe a little energy, maybe a little friction, whatever you want to call it. Just rub them. You can rub them fast, you can rub them slow, but I want you to create this little bit of energy, almost like you are just filling this energy and creating it. And I want you to take your hand, your right hand, and place it over your heart. And then place the left hand over the back of your right. Just take a moment, feeling the heartbeat beneath your hands. And then sending your heart this beautiful energy you've created, this healing energy, this grounding force. Just allowing yourself to Focus in on that silent chamber, if you will. And 
And let's take one more big glorious breath in. And exhale, however you choose, open mouth, close mouth. Perfect. And then let's begin to bring our palms again, once to, more to our heart center here, just kind of pressing them, feeling that energy, that softness of our palms, inhaling, just kind of lengthen through our spine. And then on the exhale, releasing our chin to the tips of our fingers, starting to feel the back of our neck lengthening. Our shoulders remain soft here. And then slowly as we inhale, let's take our first sun breath. So as we begin to breathe in, we're starting to slowly reach our hands up towards the sky. Maybe blink open your eyes if they are closed allowing your gaze to follow your hands. And at the very top, we need to separate your hands and then rotate our hands outward on the exhale. Let's lower our hands as we release our chin down towards our chest and start to feel our shoulders, our neck, and then rotating our palms upward. Let's inhale, reach our hands one more time up towards the sky. So if we're lifting up this energy, it may feel weighted, it may feel light. We're just gonna reach our hands up, lengthen through your side bodies here. And then exhale, let's one more time, lower our hands, uh, releasing our chin down towards our chest. And this time, let's rotate our palms up and we're gonna inhale, reach our hands up. And again, our gaze follows our hands, but this time on the exhale, we're gonna take our first twist towards the right. So it may be opposite for you. My right may be your left. Whatever it is, it's okay. We're letting that left hand release to our right knee. Our right hand is behind us for support, almost like a little kickstand for our spine. We're just gonna hold here on the inhale, but I want you to focus on that left glute. See if you can release that as you inhale. And then we're just gonna hold on the exhale. So we're not taking a deeper twist. We're just feeling this beautiful opening through our core here. Nice. And then on the inhale, let's slowly take our chin and we're just gonna bring it to the short edge of our mat, to the center here. And then take it over to the left shoulder where we exhale, release your chin towards your shoulder. And notice how you start to feel this a little differently through the right side of your neck, maybe even into your right shoulder. And then slowly on the inhale, let's release this left hand. We're gonna unwind everything to the center. Let's sweep our arms open. It's almost like a corkscrew. Everything returns to the center and our arms are opening nice and wide. Our chin lifts and I want you to rotate your thumbs towards the back edge of your mat, feeling that broadening across the front of your chest. And on the exhale, we're gonna spiral our arms. And as we spiral our arms, we're releasing our chin to our chest. So we're just kind of feeling that into our shoulder area as well as our neck. And then inhale, we're opening our arms one more time, like we're rotating those thumbs to the back edge, lifting our chin here. And then sweep our hands all the way to the very top, palms together at the top. And then exhale, hands down to our heart space, taking a moment here checking in, beautiful. And then slowly from here, I want you to extend both legs out if they're crossed. If not, you just stay where you are and just take a moment to release out your, your ankles if they feel like they're tight. We're just gonna flex and point, beautiful. And then slowly let's recross your legs if you would like or keep them extended. As you recross, send the opposite leg forward. So it will feel a little awkward and that's exactly where I want you to be, just feeling that awkwardness. And then let's take our hands one more time to our heart space here, pressing our palms, lifting our hearts. Just a moment here, beautiful breath in, nice breath out. Perfect, let's inhale our arms nice and wide. Thumbs to the back edge of our mat, opening our heart space here. And on the exhale, we're gonna spiral our arms, releasing our chin to our chest. Feel the shoulders as you rotate your arms. Feel your shoulders. It's a glorious way to um, open our shoulders and just kind of feel them all. Inhale, let's open our arms again, chin lifts. Reaching our palms all the way up towards the sky. And on the exhale, let's take our twist now towards the left. So your right hand releases to the left knee. And the left hand is behind again as that kickstand. 
On the inhale, I want you to find the length in your spine as well as releasing that right glute, the right thigh, because it wants to hold everything really tight. We're just gonna hold on the exhale. Soften the shoulders. Perfect, let's inhale our chin towards the center. So we're taking it to the short edge of the mat and then we're gonna cross the center line, taking our chin to our right shoulder where we exhale, release your chin to your shoulder and oh, feel the side of your neck. It just feels glorious. Ah. And then slowly on the inhale, let's come up, right? We're releasing the right hand and we're gonna unwind everything again to the center like that giant corkscrew. I like to think of it because everything feels like it just unwinds. Bing. Perfect, on the exhale, we're gonna sweep our arms behind us. As we sweep them behind, I want you to interlace your fingers doesn't matter which hand or which thumb is on top, but we're gonna inhale, draw our knuckles down towards the mat. So we're really opening across the front of our body. Lift your chin just a little bit here. Nice, and maybe on the exhale, start to lean forward. It's not a big motion here, it's just a little lean forward. And you can experiment here with your hands if you want. You can start to lift them or leave them resting on the mat, doesn't matter. Sometimes it feels good to lift, it just depends. And then slowly, I want you to draw your knuckles down towards the mat, so we're rising back up. Beautiful, releasing our hands, and then make that big circle motion with our arms, reaching all the way up towards the sky, palms together. Exhaling, hands down to our heart space. Beautiful, let's take this, we're just gonna open our arms wide since we did it, interlacing our fingers, the last time, I want you to interlace the opposite on top. So we're sweeping our hands behind us. Interlace that opposite finger on top. And again, this will feel awkward. That's okay. That's where we are. On the inhale, draw the knuckles down towards the mat. Lift the heart space here. Mm, the chin maybe lifts. And then if it feels okay, just start to take that gentle hinge forward. Just feeling the front body as maybe well as the lower back area, maybe your outer hips. And you can let your head be heavy if that feels better to you. And then slowly let's draw our knuckles down towards the mat, almost like they're anchoring us and drawing us into that upright position, lifting. Beautiful, unbind our hands, taking that big circle, releasing our arms as we reach to the sky. Beautiful. Palms together, exhale, hands down to our heart space. Inhale, we're gonna experiment here just a little bit more. Inhale, our arms nice and wide. And this time I want you to rotate the right palm up towards the sky. And we're just gonna sweep our right hand all the way up, bend that right elbow, and then place your right hand maybe in the nape of your neck or just into that upper shoulder area. Your left hand, we're gonna rotate the palm downward and then sweep our left hand behind us and see if you can make a connection. I do on one side and not the other. And if you don't, you can absolutely just hold it here and you can hold your shirt or just hold it. And we're just gonna feel this. As we're here, I want you to almost cradle your head with that right hand so it opens up a little bit more into that left shoulder. Right, everything's just feeling really good here or a little bit of tension. So I want you to really breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. Beautiful. As you release the left hand, allow this left hand to release and our right hand releases. Beautiful. And we're just going to take a moment here. We're just going to make circles with our wrists. And let that go. And we're going to take it the opposite way. So the left palm goes upward right palm down, sweep the left arm up, and then bend the left elbow and place the left hand maybe in wherever is best for you. Sweep the right hand behind you. And again, maybe you make a connection with this side, maybe not, that's okay, it doesn't really matter. One side, like I said, works for me, the other. <laughs> so while we're here, I want you to inhale, lift the heart. Lift the heart, allow that left elbow, almost like we're trying to reach it up towards the sky. This is a beautiful stretch. We carry so much tension in our shoulders. And a lot of times we don't open that heart space. It just allows us to feel this deeper breath. 
And then exhale, let your breath go. Lifting the left arm up towards the sky and unwinding that right arm. And this time, as we sweep our arms out, we're going to bring our hands forward, pressing our hands together at the very front and bending those elbows, bring our hands into our heart space. Take a moment, press those thumbs into your heart space. Nice big breath. And exhale. Let it go. And let's slowly move into our tabletop here. So I like to keep my blocks on the ready and you may keep them wherever you like, but just in case, bring them to the ready part, which is on the top of our mat. And as we come into our tabletop, just take a moment, if you have sensitive knees, maybe bring a blanket under your knees and you can also double the mat. Sometimes that works for me. So if you have knee issues, just take a moment and honor that and take care of your knees. Um, and as you come into your tabletop, we're just going to slowly move into some cow-cat postures. As we begin with our cow, let's start with releasing that belly button down towards the mat. As you release the belly button, you'll feel this beautiful opening through your front body, lifting your chin. See if you can lift your gaze even. And as you exhale, I want you to start to draw the belly button into your spine and really start rounding into your spine. But pressing through your palms allows that extra dome in your shoulders and your chin towards your chest. It just feels really good here. And let's inhale, repeating this a couple more times. And you can move faster or slower. It doesn't really matter. You can even make circles. Just kind of move into whatever feels best to you at this moment. There is no wrong in yoga. I like to think of it that way. There is no wrong. There's only right and right what works for you. Most important is always to remember to breathe. And then slowly coming into that neutral spine with our spine nice and long here. We're going to begin with our lower half. So taking a moment, we're just going to extend the right leg nice and long behind us and dial the toes downward. Sometimes we like to keep them out to the side, but we're going to dial them down, which keeps our hips nice and level. We're going to lift and lower the right leg. Feeling that right hip flexor, the right leg says, all right, we're gonna start moving here and then lower our five toes down to the mat and we're just gonna to start to shift our weight into that extended leg. So really press into that right heel. You'll feel the back of your right leg taking a deep stretch here. And you can deepen it by pressing the right leg or the back of your right leg up towards the sky. Like you're just really lengthening here, like almost a morning stretch. And then coming, shifting forward into your wrist. So you'll feel that deeper flexion into your wrist. This can be kind of intense for some. So just be careful and mindful of how you feel. And then coming back into that neutral space here, let's inhale. We're going to lift the right leg off the mat. Toes are still down towards the mat, hips are level. On the exhale, let's draw our right knee into our chest. And as we draw our right knee in, I want you to round into your spine like we're taking that cat pose here and our chin towards our right knee. Whew. Inhale, let's lengthen. And reach through the crown of your head here. So you're almost like this line of energy, right heel to the crown of your head. And then exhale, let's draw it in. Inhale, let's lengthen our leg and our spine. This time I want you to rotate the right toes out towards the side. So this is where we, we are rotating our toes. And you'll notice your right hip wants to lift, that's okay. On the exhale, we're just gonna bend the right knee and draw it towards our right elbow. We may not connect here, we're just feeling the way it affects our hips and our side body. Squeeze it up towards the right elbow. And then inhale, let's lengthen. Beautiful, rotating those toes down towards the mat. And we're gonna sweep the right foot over the left, lower the toes to the mat. So we've got this beautiful crossing of our legs here. On the inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. I want you to reach the crown of your head forward. And on the exhale, we're just gonna take our gaze to the left. As you take your gaze over the left shoulder, you'll start to feel this beautiful um, stretch through your right side body. Shift the right shoulder forward just a little bit and you'll feel it through your right side, maybe even a little deeper. And just kind of come into this beautiful stretch here. Inhale, everything comes back into the center. We're unwinding our legs and exhale, right knee down to the mat. 
take a moment, come down to your elbows and just give a little love to those wrists. Maybe open and close them, maybe make some circles. And I like to um, move them back and forth. So <laughs> you can do what feels best. And it is interesting because you don't realize um, how tight your wrist can be, right? I mean, we're, we're so used to working at our desks with typing and stuff. So when we flex them like this, it can be pretty intense. So coming onto our tabletop again, let's take this on the opposite side, beginning with our left leg. We're just gonna extend it nice and long. And again, just as we did on the other side, dial the toes down towards the mat. And we're just gonna lift and lower that left leg. Noticing the left hip flexor, noticing how it feels in that left leg, and we're going to lower the five toes to the mat and take a moment where we're shifting our weight into that extended leg. So really press through the left heel. Yes, that feels good here. And then we're going to shift forward into those wrists again, being kind and noticing how this feels for you. And then coming into that neutral space, shoulders stacked over our wrists. Inhale, let's lift the left leg nice and long. Dial the toes down towards the mat. And on the exhale, bend the left knee. We're going to draw our left knee into our chest and our chin towards our left knee. Round into your spine, almost like we're trying to kiss our left knee. Inhale, let's extend and lengthen. Exhale, let's draw it in. Inhale, let's extend and lengthen. Here we are. Let's rotate our left toes out towards the side like that hydrant leg we're creating here. On the exhale, let's bend the left knee. We're just gonna draw it up towards our left shoulder. And as we draw it up, we'll start to feel this through your left hip, maybe a little more into your shoulders even. Inhale, extend. And then lowering or rotating our toes down towards the mat. Let's sweep the left leg over the right, lowering our toes, just like we're crossing it behind our right leg. While we're here, let's take a big breath in. I want you to lengthen again through your spine. And on the exhale, let's take our gaze over our right shoulder, Ooh, drawing the left shoulder forward, just kind of creates a little deeper stretch into that left side body. Ooh. It's amazing these small movements, how you really do feel them. Inhale, let's bring it all to the center and exhale, left knee down to the mat. Coming down again to our elbows just for a moment to release those wrists. And the small movements, um, they can be pretty intense and it also allows us to be a little more mindful of how we feel in our body, right? Um, and when we go fast, sometimes we miss that. You know, we don't get to feel how it impacts us. So let's just move into our tabletop here. And from here, let's start to tuck our toes. And we're moving into that first down dog. And I like to call it the first and last down dog because we really don't move into this posture through our practice. Um, so if this is not in your practice, absolutely omit it. You can meet us at the short edge of your mat. So I'm just going to start with tucking my toes and then slowly press through my palms as I lift my hips and lift my knees, keeping my knees bent. So keep your knees bent until you come into that full position with your arms. So pressing through your palms. And then when your hips reach to the highest, that you know, up towards the sky is what I like to think. We slowly start to straighten our legs and then release our heels down towards the mat. And maybe our heels don't touch the mat, so that's okay. We, we may need a gentle bend in our knees, and that's fine too. This is just one of those postures that can be very challenging. And for some, it may feel like, oh my gosh, my heels will never, that's not what this posture is about. This is just about really feeling um, the energy as you're connecting here with your mat. So I like to think of it as we're drawing energy up through our hands, up through our feet, and we're just feeling this nice connection with the mat beneath us. So let's take a big breath in here. And let's open up, exhale. <sighs> Press through your palms, lift your hips a little bit higher. Let your head be heavy for just a moment here. Beautiful. And then let's start to bend our knees if they're not bent already. And we're just gonna walk our feet up towards our hands. And taking our feet up towards our hands, 
bring your feet just outside of your hip space. So we don't want them underneath our hips, maybe a little wider, which gives us that space in our thighs to release our chest down to our thighs. So as you're here, start to take that forward fold, let your head be heavy. You can hold opposite elbows here. You can place your hands on the mat or blocks. You can pedal your knees by bending a knee or straightening a knee. Doesn't really matter. It's just kind of feeling this pose, letting everything go. You may even start to feel this in your lower back. So just be kind and aware. And then placing your hands on the mat or blocks, we're going to bend our knees and heel toe our feet a little closer together. They don't have to touch, but just closer so they're under your hips. And then placing the right hand on the mat or a block, I'll demonstrate with a block, we're just gonna press through that right palm. As we press through the right palm, I want you to bend the right knee. So we're bending that right knee, which gives us a moment to, or an opportunity to lift the left hand. And as we lift the left hand, we're just gonna lift it all the way up and start to kind of peel that left shoulder up and back. And we're just opening here in this beautiful stretch. And then exhale, we lower the left hand down towards the block, or just changing sides. Left palm on the block or the mat, doesn't matter. Bending the left knee just gives us a little bit more um, stability, if you will. We're pressing through the left palm and we're just gonna peel open this right arm, reaching all the way up again, taking that open twist here. Press and open, nice. And then exhale, we lower our right hand down towards the mat or blocks. And we're removing the block just for a moment here. And let's root into our feet so we can slowly rise. We're pressing and rising really slow. Oh, nice and slow. We come up and let's make a big circle with our arms. At the very top, bring your palms together and then just kind of open the heart space by lifting our hands a little higher, maybe even taking a little um, opening um, with our heart. So lift the heart and then exhaling our hands down to our heart space. And just take a moment here. Kind of press those thumbs into your chest. And I like to set an intention or some kalpa, which is just kind of that mindfulness of the practice, allowing yourselves um, a moment to maybe acknowledge, acknowledge how you feel right here on the mat today. And maybe you're like, I don't want to do this. I just don't, you know, but I want you to acknowledge that. That's okay. Sometimes we just feel like it's a Monday, right? So it's okay. We're here. But I also want you to allow one word that's really impactful, one powerful word about yourself. Maybe it's that you're strong or that you're brave or that you're kind or that you're loving or that you are fun or whatever it may be. And I want that to be what you focus on today. So allow your thumbs to press into that heart space like you're sealing this into your core today. Taking a big breath in and we're just gonna bring that word in on the inhale. And then on the exhale, we slowly release our hands down towards our sides. I'm just gonna let it settle here in our bones. Perfect. And from here, let's begin to move. So as we inhale, let's reach our hands up. We're taking our Surya Namaskar A, which our hands reach all the way up, just like we were in the beginning here. And on the exhale, let's take our forward fold, our hinging from the hips. So we're just hinging forward and we're surrendering again down towards our mat. So your knees can be bent here or you can keep them straight. As you fold here, we're just letting our head get heavy for a moment. And then inhale. Let's take our half lift. So we're bringing our hands into our shins here, pressing and then finding length in our spine. And then exhale, we're folding. Beautiful. And then rooting into our feet, let's rise back up. So we're taking that nice, beautiful reverse swan dive, if you will, reaching our hands all the way up, palms together and exhale, hands down to our heart space. So let's repeat that. So we're just going to add on from here. Inhale, we reach, lifting. Exhale, we fold. 
Inhale to our half lift. So hands where they support you, shins, thighs, mat. And exhale, we fold. Rooting into our feet, let's rise back up. Just kind of wakening our bodies here. Palms together, exhale, hands down to our heart space. Perfect. And let's take a moment. We're gonna slide the left foot back. So as we slide the left foot back, spiral the left heel down. So we're setting up for our warrior one. And just placing your hands on your hips here and then bringing that gentle bend into the right knee. And warrior one, your right knee, you want it to be over the toes. So we don't want it forward. We don't want it too far back. So we kind of want to find that place of balance that works for us. So with our hands on our hips, it's just a nice way to, to notice that left hip. So we want to almost like steer the left hip forward as well as draw the right hip back. So we're almost creating that um, balance across the front. And then slowly let's add our arms. We're just gonna reach them on up towards the sky. And if this is too much, we keep our hands on our hips. Let your shoulders soften here. Big breath in. Warrior one is challenging. Exhale. One more time, let's inhale. Reach our fingertips up towards the sky. Keep your shoulders soft. And on the exhale, let's sweep our hands behind us. As we sweep them behind us, we're going to interlace our fingers like we did in the beginning of class. And then exhale, draw your knuckles towards your left heel. So we're feeling this beautiful opening across the front of our body. Maybe your chin lifts a little bit. We might wobble. That's okay. And then exhale, we're gonna take our humble warrior. This is a beautiful pose, maybe one of my favorites. Let's release our right shoulder down towards our right knee. And some may come all the way down. Some may hang right here. Some may place their hands on their backs and some may lift their arms all the way up. So it doesn't matter, there's lots of variety here. So take what feels best to you. And I want you to release your head. I'm just going to feel this like we're surrendering into this pose. We're surrendering into the week. We're just kind of letting it all go here. And then slowly on the inhale, we're going to rise on up. So press into the right foot as you slowly rise, releasing your hands. We're opening back into that warrior one. Our hands reach all the way up. Beautiful, big, strong opening here. And on the exhale, we're going to take our warrior two. So as we open into our warrior two, our back foot needs to make that adjustment. So it's now parallel to the back edge of our mat. Our right leg still has that beautiful bend. And if this is too intense, we just come out for a moment here. So whatever feels best to you, I want you to move with that. So as you're in this warrior two, let your shoulders soften. Sometimes we come in and we feel like they're up here. Soften your shoulders. <sighs> let your hips sink a little bit. Get really grounded here. Beautiful. Let's reverse our warrior. So we're rotating that right palm up. And on the inhale, sweep your right hand all the way up towards the sky. So we're finding that space between our right hip and our right rib cage. And we're just reaching up and maybe overhead. You don't have to. You can stay right here. And then exhale. We're coming into that extended side angle. Right elbow releases to our right thigh. And we're just gonna sweep this left arm up, maybe over your head or maybe up towards the sky. Doesn't matter where we are. Our right shoulder is very strong. Avoid the collapse into that. So we're really pressing our shoulder away from our right ear. Beautiful. And then we're gonna straighten the right knee and we're taking that reverse triangle. It's that beautiful counter pose, I like to call it. So we're sweeping the right arm up and over. Notice how my hips don't shift. I'm not like sweeping them up and I'm not bumping them out. We're keeping them right where they are and our right hand reaches over. And then exhale. Let's come back into that warrior two. Whoo, yes, so strong right here. And then inhale, we're sweeping back to our warrior one. So left hand sweeps to meet the right and we're just gonna adjust that back foot. And come into that warrior one, arms reaching up. Don't cheat yourself. Make sure you find that, sh that warrior one powerful pose. Beautiful, bring our palms down to our heart space, palms together. Let's pivot onto those left toes. 
And here's where we kind of scooch the left foot to the right, right? We can step it, we can hop it, walk it. We're here and let's flow. Inhale, we reach and exhale. Let's fold. Ha. Inhale to our half lift. So again, finding that place where your hands support you. And exhale, we fold. Let's root into our feet. We're gonna rise on up, palms together at the very top, and exhale, hands down to our heart space. Ha, ah, strong. Let's take this on our other side. We're just sliding the right foot back. We're taking our warrior one on the left. So our right heel spirals down and we have that 45 degree angle on our back foot. Place your hands on your hips. And again, allow yourselves a moment to arrive into this warrior one on the left. <clears throat> Steer the right hip forward, draw the left one back. And then if you're ready, let's add our arms. We're just gonna reach them all the way up. Beautiful warrior one, inhale here and exhale. One more time, inhale and then exhale. Let's sweep our arms behind us, interlacing that opposite finger on top. And as you do so, Draw the knuckles down towards the right heel. So we're opening again into that heart space, that warrior one with humble warrior on the way. On the exhale, let's slowly hinge from our hips and take our humble warrior on the left. And again, your left shoulder may release to the left knee and it may stay a little higher, it doesn't matter. Hands may rest, hands may start to lift. Hmm. And wherever you are, see if you can feel this, this uh, surrender, if you will. Again, connecting with our breath, letting everything go, inhaling and exhale. And then slowly, I want you to focus on that left foot. So as you do, press into the left foot because we're going to rise. Knuckles drive us up. And then we release the bind and we come into that warrior one again on the left. Ooh, so strong in this left leg, steer the right hip forward. It's a lot going on and exhale into our warrior two on the left. Allow the back foot to adjust. Maybe we even slide it back a little bit and our arms opening out from that heart space. Hips settle here. Hmm. Beautiful, let's reverse our warrior. Rotating that left palm. Inhale, sweep the left fingertips up. Almost like you're gonna touch the sky. Feel the left rib cage lift off of that left hip. So you're creating all that space and then we may tilt our left hand overhead. And feel that stretch. Whew. And then exhale, let's come into our extended side angle. So our left elbow comes to our left thigh. You can also take your left hand down to a mat or a block, whatever you feel. So I like to place my left elbow here and I keep that left shoulder nice and strong. And then sweep our right hand up and you can sweep it to the front or you can just lift it on up, whatever you choose here. Again, finding what works best for you. Inhaling here and exhale. Perfect, and then we're taking that reverse triangle. So we're gonna really press into the left foot as we straighten the left knee. Inhale, reverse triangle, sweeping that left arm all the way up and over. Whew. This is just a beautiful pose. I like to think of it as the one that feels best after the other poses. Left leg is thanking us right now. And exhale, let's come back to our warrior two. Ha, let's inhale to our warrior one. Sweep the right hand to meet our left. Adjust the back foot and take that warrior one. And remember, come into the fullest expression. Palms together and exhale, hands to our heart space. We're gonna slide the right foot to meet our left. Whew. And let's flow from here. Inhale, we reach. And exhale, Ooh, we fold, surrendering, letting go. Inhale to our half lift. And exhale, let's fold. Rooting into our feet, we rise on up, arms reaching up, 
Palms together and exhale, hands to our heart space. Perfect. Let's slide that left foot back. And this time we're just gonna move a little faster and add on just a smidge more. So as we inhale, let's take our warrior one, hands reaching up. And exhale, we sweep our hands behind, interlacing our fingers, draw the knuckles down to our left heel and open here. Exhale, humble warrior, surrendering here, come into your humble warrior, maybe the deeper expression this time. And then slowly releasing the bind, press through your right foot, we rise to warrior one. And exhale into our warrior two. Reversing our warrior, right hand sweeps up and over. Exhale, let's come into that extended side angle, right elbow to right knee or right thigh, left hand reaches. Inhale, let's take our reverse triangle, right knee straightens, right hand windmills up and over. We're gonna add on here. On the exhale, let's return to our warrior two. Rotating both palms towards the sky. On the inhale, we're straightening the right knee. And this time we're bringing our toes to the corners of our mat. So our hands go out to the sides and we're just gonna reach our hands all the way up. So our toes are towards the corners. And I'm gonna turn around so I face you. On the exhale, we're just gonna slide our hands down to our heart space, coming into that goddess pose is what I like to call this. So we're in our goddess pose here. Press your palms here. Lift your heart a little bit higher here. Maybe sink a little deeper. Whew. Knees are tracking over our toes. So if they start to round in a little, just come out just a smidge here. Chest lifts, nice big breath and exhale. And then slowly pressing through our feet. We're gonna rise into our star pose. Arms go nice and wide hands reaching, and here's where a challenge of balance comes in. I want you to lift your right heel and lower it. Lift the left heel and lower it, and maybe it's in our practice today. Let's lift both heels, see how we feel. Beautiful, powerful. Exhale both heels down, and then return to your warrior two on the right. So I'm going to be the opposite direction because I went to face you. So let's move into our warrior two. Perfect. Inhale, warrior one. Sweep the left hand, meet the right. Adjust the back foot. Come into that warrior one. Really strong, powerful pose here. Palms together. Exhale, hands to our heart space. Slide the left foot to meet our right. Let's move here. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale. Exhale, we fold. Inhale to our half lift. And exhale, let's fold. Rooting into our feet, let's rise on up. Ooh, palms together and exhale, hands down to our heart space. Let's slide that right foot back and come into our warrior one on the left. So your hands can be on your hips, at your heart space. Inhale, we reach our hands up. And exhale, we sweep our hands behind us, interlace that opposite finger on top. Inhale, draw the knuckles down to the right heel. And exhale, come into our humble warrior, releasing the left shoulder down to your left knee. Ooh. <laughs> and then slowly press through the left foot. We're releasing our arms. We're rising to our warrior one. Hands reach up. And exhale, let's open into our warrior two on the left. Reversing our warrior, rotate the left palm, inhale, we sweep it up and over. And exhale, into our extended side angle, left elbow to our left thigh, reach the right hand up, maybe overhead. And then straightening the left knee, let's take that reverse triangle, left arm sweeps up and over. That glorious, whew, letting go. And then exhale, let's return to our warrior two. <sighs> Rotating both palms towards the sky, inhale, straighten the left knee, drawing our toes towards the corners of our mat. Again, we're rising so that we can take that goddess pose on the exhale, bending our knees, let's settle here into that goddess pose. Whew. 
chest is lifted. So if you're leaning forward, see if you can lift the heart. That's perfect. We're just gonna inhale, arms go nice and wide. A little challenge here. On the exhale, we're just gonna sweep them behind us, interlace those fingers, inhale. Draw the knuckles down, open the heart space here. Woo. Exhale, we're just gonna tip forward. We're not hinging, we're just tipping a little bit, finding that balance. Woo. And then slowly releasing the bind. Let's rise on up, arms circling, legs start to straighten. Taking that star pose here, lifting the left heel boop, and lower, lift the right heel and lower. And let's try our balance one more time. Lift both heels so strong here, lift, lift, and lower. Perfect. Let's take our warrior two on the left, adjusting her feet. We return. Inhale, warrior one, right hand sweeps to meet the left and we adjust our back foot so we can open here, kind of bring our leg or our hips so they're square-ish, right? Exhale, palms lower to our heart space. Sweep the right hand foot to the front <laughs> and inhale, let's move here. Last time, exhale, we fold. Inhale to our half lift. And exhale, let's fold. Rooting into our feet, let's rise on up. Arm circle, reaching up. Palms together, exhale, hands down to our heart space. Perfect. And let's just make our way on down to our mat. As you come down, we're just gonna move into a little bit of, I like to think of it as more of our, our hips, I guess, more of our hip opening stretch. So as we come on down, you can keep something nearby if you'd like a block, because we're gonna move into bridge, just a quick moving bridge though. So just be mindful of that. So as we come on down, you can roll on down. And as you do so, let's extend both legs up towards the sky. And then cross right leg over the left, and we're just gonna kind of bend our knees, like we're sitting in a chair, if you will. But we want our, let our shins to kind of splay out towards the sides and flexing your feet. Here's where the challenge comes in. So as your feet are flexed and your shins are out towards the sides, place your hands just in that on your shins. And if this is too intense, we don't do that. So I like to place my hands on my shins and just kind of hang here. This is, I call it my reclined Gomukhasana. So let your shoulders soften and you'll start to feel this in your right outer hip. And, and close your eyes because sometimes we get into that, those places that are tight or hold tension and we hold our breath. So holding this pose can be challenging. So I invite you to really be mindful of your breath. So breathing in and breathing out. Perfect. And then from here, we want to release our shins and we're just going to allow our legs to cross like we're seated in a chair, okay? Our hands teeing out from our heart space and we're just going to release our knees now over towards the left. So as you release them, your right sole of your foot is maybe going to connect to the floor first. That's perfectly fine. And if this is too much, you can place a block of your knees or you can uncross your legs okay whatever feels best for you and while here most importantly I want your right shoulder to kind of feel a little more weighted so be just mindful of that breathing in and we breathe out here perfect and then slowly come back into the center uncross our right leg from our left and we're just going to try the other side left leg over the right Again, bending your knees and flex your feet. You can hang right here. If you want more of a challenge, you can bring your knees closer to you. You can also place your hands on your shins and kind of play around here. But you wanna keep your shins lifted. So you don't wanna to collapse too much. So you wanna keep them lifted, almost like they're steer horns right here. So that's kind of the thought or the visual, I guess. And let's breathe here. And we breathe out. 
Perfect. And then from here, we're just releasing our hands. If you're holding onto your shins and we're going to allow that crossing of our legs, tee our arms out from our shoulders. And then we're just going to release our knees over to the right. So we're taking that supine twist here. Ooh. And this just always feels really great. Anytime we can um, twist. It feels great in our back and our, and our uh, shoulders here. And then slowly let's come back into the center and cross left from right and just hug your knees in for just a moment. And then slowly let's move into that bridge pose before we end our practice, placing our feet on the mat and our moving bridge. And if you want to just take supported bridge, absolutely bring the block in. So place your feet on the mat. We're just going to press through our feet and lift our hips and lift our hands overhead. Since we did that heart opening, this probably feels really good in our front body. We really opened it up today. And then exhale, lower our hips, lowering our arms. And we're just going to move two more times with our breath. Inhale, we press and lift and reach. Exhale, we lower down. And one more time, inhale, lift and reach. And exhale, let's lower on down. Draw our knees into our chest. Ha. <laughs> Baby rock side to side. Perfect. Let's take our happy baby here. Soles of the feet pressing up towards the sky and our hands to the insides of our feet, maybe the outer edge. Sometimes that feels best. But I want your whole spine to be on the mat right here. Shoulders are heavy. Breathing in. Breathing out. And then bring our feet and our knees together. Let's wrap our arms around our shins, taking Apanasana, that little small, small compressed space. We lift our head, neck, and shoulders and squeeze everything out. Look like we're leaving it here on the mat. And then slowly arriving in our Shavasana. So maybe your legs go up a wall if that's available. Your legs go wide. You can place them on blocks, but arrive in your Shavasana and feel the most supported, rotating your palms, maybe towards the sky so you can recharge with some positive energy. You can kind of refresh here. And with your eyes closed, just begin that physical scan of your body, starting with your feet and just be mindful as you work your way up releasing those places that you might be holding tension, maybe your hips as you move up, maybe your spine, see if you can let it release to the mat, your shoulders, allow them to be heavy, and your arms really feel weighted like the earth is drawing them down. As you move into your face, let your eyes again return to the not focusing on anything behind your eyelids. So we're just letting our eyes release. Lower jaw, let it go, wiggle it, let it go. And take up rest right here. Shavasana.
have the luxury of time, I highly suggest you stay in Shavasana as long as your time will allow. Or if you have to move on with your day, the week ahead, as you take your next breath, allow this breath to bring small movement to your hands and feet. And then slowly lifting your arms up towards the sky, take your arms overhead, finding that full body stretch. And walking your feet up close to your hips, drawing your knees into your chest, wrapping your arms around your shins. We rock side to side, releasing over to whichever side feels best for you just so that we can take a moment to send up gratitude. Gratitude for our practice and our bodies allowing us to move the way they do on the mat. And then slowly pressing through that available palm, we rise into our Sukhasana, that easy seated pose, our eyes still closed, our head a soft gaze. Bring our palms together at heart center in the mudra of Anjali right here. Let's share a breath as we breathe in. And then breathe out. And just kind of take a moment to recall the word that you set for yourself at the beginning of our practice and see if it still holds for you or maybe it's served its purpose and you want to leave it here. If you want to take it with you, just kind of press your thumbs into the heart space and just almost like you're sealing it in for you. And then lifting our thumbs to our forehead to remind us to think kind, loving, beautiful thoughts of ourselves and of others. And then lowering our thumbs to our lips, may we speak those words meant to encourage and lift others up. And then lowering our thumbs to our heart space, may we always move through our day with the very best of intention. Thanks so much for sharing your yoga practice with me. It is an honor to be on the mat with you, and I wholeheartedly hope one day that I can actually see you all in person. Until then, may you all have a magical week ahead, and I hope it's certainly wonderful. And may you all take care. Namaste. Uh, thanks so much for coming and um, really appreciate it. And I hope you really do have a great week. Um, and as always, if you have any comments or anything that you want to um, feedback to me, anything is always welcome. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you next week. So I'm going to creep up here and see if there's anything I need to notice here. <laughs> Thanks so much. And have a great week. Thank you. <laughs>